Hey guys, welcome to Chess Roads. Uh, today in this next game, uh, I'm gonna show you a game played between Vishwanathan Anand and Magnus Carlsen in Lena's tournament 2007. Anand is white and Carlsen is black. E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, Bishop B5, A6, Bishop A4, Knight F6, Castle, Bishop E7, Rook E1, B5, Bishop B3, D6, C3, Castles, H3, Knight A5, Bishop C2, C5, D4, Knight D7, and here Anand played, uh, Anand used to play actually Knight B D2, but here Anand played D5. This was not. Uh, this was in his preparation. He changed his line uh, so that uh, Carlson will be on out of his uh, preparation. The main idea of uh, D5, D5 is simply is he wants to play on the king side later by closing the center. Knight B6, Knight B2, G6. Here the most like uh, uh, maybe almost uh, like f5 has been played lots of times but uh, this position f5 uh, is not really promising for black in view of this uh, exchanging of this pair bishop on c2 will simply take f5 and bishop into f5 and since my d4 now he can open a more like b4 and play on the um, weakness of bishop e3 white pieces are pretty pretty safe and uh, white is uh, better in this position in respect of this open f file and uh, good pawn structure white is still uh, better so carlson improved and by playing g6 b4 cb4 cb4 knight is c4 knight into c4 knight into c4 now look look closely at this position uh, now we can see uh, black knight is on c4 is very good and bishop both bishops are very good but uh, if you come in depth uh, this knight on c4 is bad instead of very good because after bishop b3 which was played in the game now black white is simply trying to exchange this this bishop to at uh, any of the black pieces so he played bishop b3 a very good positional move now this knight really uh, is really good now but uh, this knight really uh, uh, don't have any good square when it when it going to a retrieve so knight b6 see this knight on b6 now it's very passive yeah it should come to back again to t7 and there is no even c5 square so bishop e3 bishop d7 rook c1 rook c8 rook into c8 bishop into c8 queen c2 bishop d7 rook c1 now here white uh, black simply wants to go to an end game after queen c8 uh, black can hold on this position in the end game maybe even try for a win if he succeeded to end this so anand anand just uh, simply avoided that and here by black if uh, queen c8 he can simply take a uh, bishop into b6 so knight 8 see this knight on c4 uh, it, it really, really don't have any good square and went to a8 Queen d2, a very good positional move. Not allowing black to uh, exchange the queens, and you now black should uh, seriously commit something like uh, uh, if he plays a move like uh, maybe f5. See, let us imagine if he play moves like f5. Sorry, f5 maybe. Uh, here uh, uh, most like bishop g5 pretty good <laughs> f5 
and after bishop into g5 knight into g5 this uh, knight sits on e6 and gives life for this bishop so black uh, really can't commit f5 now at this moment so he played queen b8 bishop g5 bishop into g5 knight into g5 rook c8 now the main idea for ananda comes here he doesn't really want to exchange the pieces so play rook f1 very good uh, the only way to try win in this position is by playing only rook f1 now rook f1 simply uh, 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 black is white is starting to play f4 e5 activating this bishop on b3 and after e5 this knight can sit on e4 and f6 there are lots of chances for a, a white after rook f1 this position becoming more complicated now h6 now uh, uh, anand here played a good move played knight e6 this is uh, very good uh, some might consider a most like a knight into f7 but after king into f7 queen h6 uh, the position um, is uh, uh, okay for black that's what say because uh, immediately the most like rook h8 is a problem for black he needs to retrieve his queen and then later he can move his queen to f8 and defend this pawn but anand played knight e6 in view of uh, simply activating this bishop on p3 so if you capture uh, uh, I was watching this game live and uh, immediately after Anand playing knight e6 I simply thought okay after ft f into e6 uh, d into e6 and queen h6 will lead something very bad and after analyzing for a few minutes I uh, got this variation after f e6 maybe d6 uh, bishop e8 queen into h6 knight b6 uh, the only way to stop this by playing knight c4 e7 check uh, knight c4 queen f8 king h7 and f4 now he's the playing trying to play f5 f6 f7 all winning or if you capture he can simply capture with rook into f3 so queen a queen a8 rook f3 queen into e4 f5 e into f5 rook g3 wins so there are many variations in this uh, uh, particular variation of the 96 so Carlsen uh, uh, thought for so much time and uh, he, he was not forced to ready to take the side and he played king h7 supporting the pawn on h6 so he ran on the left and played f4 bringing one more piece into the game on rook f1 queen a7 check king h2 bishop e8 and f5 uh, g into f5 e into f5 even if you if you capture this knight on uh, now even like f into e6 uh, d into e6 uh, this position is not at all good for black no one from uh, black side would like to prefer this position playing from black so um, you cannot capture this uh, so he played f6 now this knight on e6 is uh, pretty good rook e1 uh, trying to transpose this rook to e4 and h4 maybe uh, h6 will be under attack so knight c7 rook c1 is just pinning the piece bishop d7 rook c3 um, e4 rook g3 knight into e6 uh, d into e6 now white finally got this bishop opened rook e8 bishop e8 sorry e7 uh, white uh, black cannot capture this queen into e7 in view of uh, bishop e8 check bishop g8 check queen into e7 bishop g8 check and if king moves to h8 queen into h6 is checkmate. so 
so queen into h6 means I have queen into queen h7 and queen h7 is a check so after e7 uh, bishop h5 was played queen into d6 here uh, calls on the side that he can resign this position uh, uh, maybe after rook e8 you can simply tap queen into f6 queen into e7 and bishop g8 so this was a uh, very good positional game played by Ananda and Carlson uh, in the last tournament. Uh, Anand just uh, showed his dominance of his, his play in the opening. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and leave comments. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.